Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of measurement, specifically how we can use the measurements for volume and weight, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So first we're going to look at volume. And we're also using the same term volume when we're calculating the amount of cubes that can fit into a three-dimensional shape. But sometimes when we're talking about this type of volume, we're talking about either liquid volume, so you might see the word liquid in front of it, or sometimes they'll simply just call it capacity. They all kind of refer to how much liquid you can put inside a container. Just like the other type of volume is how many cubes you can put inside of a three-dimensional shape. So we've got two units of measurement here. So first let's deal with customary measurement, which we see in the United States. So customary measurement, the largest unit of volume that we're going to deal with is a gallon. So we've got one gallon. And typically when we go to the store and we get milk, it comes, the big ones at least, come in gallon jugs. So if you're used to getting milk from the store or seeing this in your refrigerator, you can easily visualize what a gallon is. Now inside that, each gallon is made up of four quarts. So this one gallon is made up of four quarts. So for you to take this into four sections and think of it like almost four quarters to a dollar, quart just means one out of four. So think of it like that. Now, inside each of those quarts, and those are abbreviated as QT, you've got an even smaller unit. Those are two pints. And inside each of those pints, which is abbreviated PT, you've got two cups. Those get really small. Those are kind of the size of like a small coffee mug. And then finally, inside each cup, which is represented with the, just the letter C, you have eight. We need to put the word fluid in here, fluid ounces, because there are ounces we'll deal with in just a moment. Those are dry ounces, and those go with weight. So customer units have quite a lot of conversions, from gallons to quarts to pints to cups, even down to ounces. Those are things you would get in teaspoons or tablespoons. Now we have the metric system. And the metric system is also in the United States, but it's also highly used in other countries around the world. And you've got one major unit that we're dealing with, and this is a liter. And sometimes it's just abbreviated with a capital L. These are each one liter. So that's a liter, that's a liter, that's a liter. Sometimes you'll get a big two liter, even a three liter. But if you're wanting just an individual bottle of soda to drink, you'd probably just get one liter. And then when we deal with the metric system, everything is based on tens. And so probably the only conversion that we might use would be milliliters. So that's a little m, big L. A thousand of those go into one liter. And those are kind of about the size of your fluid ounces. When you're dealing with milliliters, it's very, very small amounts. Now let's take a look at weight. So when we're looking at the customer units for weight, we're only going to be dealing with three different units. We're going to be dealing with tons, pounds, and then ounces. The metric system has units for mass, but that's slightly different than weight. So one ton is about the size of a small car. That's how much it weighs. Now we're not talking about your dad's huge pickup truck. A small car weighs about one ton, and that is equal to 2,000 pounds. Now the strange thing about pounds is it is abbreviated LBS, but if we spell it out, it's P-O-U-N-D-S. So the abbreviation doesn't really look anything like the word, but a pound is an LB or LBS for pounds. So what is one pound? Well, one pound or one LB, that's equal to about a loaf of bread you would get at the store. It doesn't weigh much, but you can at least feel it in your hand. And that one pound, that is 16 ounces. And that's why previously we had to talk about fluid ounces for volume. These are dry ounces. So that's weight. And those 16 ounces, well, one ounce is OZ, is about a slice of bread. So it doesn't weigh very much at all. So you've got ounces, pounds, and a ton. 